Hello everyone, my name is Noura. I'm a medical oncologist in the morning and artist at night. Welcome to N36 Art and Style. This channel will be about building a community that values beauty, where elegance, class and elevation in all aspects of life will be discussed. Please grab a coffee or a drink and come along with me. Hello, I'll start with my skincare first. Um, so shout out to the Welsh twins who introduced me to Glow Recipe um, line. It's amazing. This is my second bottle of Glow Recipe Dew Drops. Um, it's a serum gel thingy and I wanted to try this one as well, which is the watermelon uh, glow. So this is the toner that I'll start with. Um, I got it from local Sephora. They don't carry everything, but it's better than nothing. It's really lovely. This is my second time using it and trying it out and it's been amazing. Um, it's been amazing to have it on my skin. I don't know about the, if there is any different effect. And this is the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. I use all over my face except my forehead. It is um, sensitive so I try to avoid any um, exfoliating harsh. Even if it's not harsh, um, it does not really react well. This is the Sika Blast uh, from La Roche Posay. This is what I usually do for any sensitized uh, part of my skin. I use it as well at night and it's excellent. Um, I'll leave all the products down below in the description. Then I use uh, the same um, line from Glow Recipe uh, for the eye cream. This is my first video and the sound might not be good or um, if there is any comments that you want me to improve, please let us know because um, I want to be um, this process to be the best uh, process possible and you cannot achieve that um, from one go. I'm using um, Control Restore from Strebectin. Strebectin, yeah. This is the. Again, everywhere, including my neck. I don't know, I just discovered Dr. Idris uh, recently. Uh, a dermatologist from US, I think she's Middle Eastern in origin. Um, and she's amazing. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that I got this one as well from Sephora, Peter Thomas Roth. Um, a masking, I wanted to just to try it out and see if I like it. I used the green one and it's been good so far. I do notice a difference in how my skin feels after. Uh, the last part is Laneige um, blood product. I introduced this to my husband first um, years ago and then it started to make me break out around my lips. Um, I stopped using it and then lately I ran out of my regular lip balm so I started using it again. Yeah, and this is uh, my um, skincare routine. Now we'll jump to the makeup. So for the makeup part, I start with a primer first. I used to one uh, uh, as a pore filling primer and the second one um, for the glow on the perimeter of the face. Uh, one is Tatcha and the other one from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I do remember uh, my goddaughter, Marisa, shout out to Marisa, who was asking her mom um, 
to teach her how to use makeup and I promised both of them to teach them and I didn't have uh, an opportunity to go um, there. They reside in different cities so I didn't have the opportunity to go there and actually sit down and have um, a makeup session, a girly night session. Um, after that, I, um, I use this amazing, amazing product from Makeup Forever, which is, which opens like a book. It's gross. I will not show you, but, um, Dima, my sister is the one who recommended this to me. Um, I love you, Dima. Thank you. Um, I start. I wanted to get another one because I'm almost running out, but, um, I didn't or I couldn't find it here, um, so I will order it online. And the amazing thing about it is that um, it's fantastic when um, your skin color changes throughout the seasons and you want something more sustainable, more consistent um, and within your skin tone. So it does have different um, products for different skin tones if you're more fair or darker, um, I guess. Um, I'll link it down below. Yeah, so uh, a little bit about me. I'm a medical oncologist, uh, as I said at the beginning. So in the morning, it's all about patients and uh, healthcare. But at night, uh, when I come home, I try to relax. Um, by either watching YouTube or by um, reading a little bit. Um, that's how I spend my nights. I live in a small city, so there is not much to do here. Sorry if I'm pausing, I need to concentrate. Um, I cannot do makeup while talking, so this is a new experience for me. Please forgive me. I'm just uh, trying to um, blend the concealer, the base with the brush. Um, yeah, I was saying that I don't have a lot of things to do in this city. Um, I go back to the same palette. I try to contour lightly. You don't want um, this contour to show. My first teacher of makeup was Joel Martinian which is the OG of all Middle Eastern makeup artists. She was um, the first, I think she was one of the first ones to teach step-by-step -step, uh, makeup application on NBC. I think there was a makeover um, show that ran for years and um, 2000s. I, I do not remember when exactly. And Joelle started with NBC in the 1990, I think, or 1991, um, as a fitness instructor, and then went into makeup. And now she's I'm an amazing um, makeup artist, and she has salons, and she is a businesswoman. So she went from this lovely um, girl who started out um, a small uh, position in a channel to a full-blown um, entrepreneur. I forgot to apply the um, glowy primer, but that doesn't mean that we cannot do it now. And I'll show you uh, another um, glowy um, drops, face of products that I got uh, from Sephora as well. Uh, 
in a minute. Yeah, so Joelle was my first teacher. Uh, the second one that I learned a lot a lot from um, is Goss. Wayne Goss, makeup artist. He started um, in 2000, 2011, when YouTube was still new. Um, and he has now beautiful brands. This, he is a well-known artist, so no need for me to talk about him. He, he just got married, I guess, in December. Um, I, I love that. Um, I love that person. He, he is just down to earth, straight to the point. He does not bullshit. If he likes something, he will rave about it. If he doesn't, either he will not discuss it or he will tell you that do not waste your money. Yeah. So this is Rare Beauty Dewy Drops. Um, I don't know if it's Dewy Drops, it's just Outshine Liquid Luminizer. And they used it the other day. It's fantastic. Um, no glitter, only glowy, dewy goodness. Yeah. Uh, I do apply products with my hands um, a lot of the time just because the hands has some oils to them and they're warm so um, they'll blend products with your skin better without um, and there will be some of the products on your hands so uh, I feel like it the absorption and the finish afterwards become better. I have this Rare Beauty um, blusher that I got um, last year when it was first out. Yeah, I think last year. Um, and it's good. Uh, nothing special. I wouldn't say that it's the best thing ever. It's just a uh, regular fluid um, blush. I do set my cheeks before moving to powder, so I'll use my highlighter here, which is um, Becca highlighter. Um, I put this first because I want it to be blended with everything else. I follow that with blusher. I do um, use dense blusher brush because I do love blusher and um, I forgot where I put my other brushes and I was lazy to buy a new one. Uh, so I use what I have. It's not because I, I don't care if I'm honest with you about a new brush for blusher because this one is just fine you see everything is blended fine it doesn't look um, as heavy blusher blending then I apply bronzer the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in number two medium yeah I wanted to start this channel because I'm into art and into style. I love clothes, I love makeup, I love um, jewelry, um, shoes. Shoes is my weakest point. Um, like if someone kidnapped me, they would kidnap me with shoes and the deal. <laughs> That's how much I love shoes. And uh, 
uh, starting a YouTube channel is part of my creative process. Um, I love um, being visual artist. I love playing with colors, but um, makeup in itself is an art for me. And I do love um, watching other artists who are applying makeup or videos where girls are just applying makeup that relaxes me. Um, and I thought, let me start my own channel. I wanted to start YouTube um, since 2014, 2000 and 15 at that time but I was um, I was busy I was busy I was coward I was confused at that time and you know it takes years um, to build that courage and if it was not for my husband honestly I wouldn't do it um, I wouldn't have done it. It's a lot of work. It's very difficult. It's very intimidating. Um, so yeah. This makeup by Mario, very dirty palette. Um, it's the Master Mattes palette and it contains all the mattes that you would need in your life. Um, I've been using this palette for a year. I didn't need to buy any other palette, which is rare for me. I go through, I'm a, a makeup enthusiast collector and for the people who know me, they know that I do buy a lot of makeup, like a crazy person. Um, so the fact that I didn't need to buy anything else, that's an achievement. So congratulations, Mario for making me achieve that. It's matte, so it's very, very versatile and um, you can see all the shades um, of neutrals and browns, so whatever your uh, skin color is, you can actually use this to achieve a neutral everyday makeup look or even go to an evening kind of look. Um, I used um, a mixture of the two colors here, uh, here and here, so that's opposite, here and here. Just a tiny mixture, a uh, little bit of mixture, and then I go to a decently clean brush, not very much, and I use the lighter colors to blend um, at the brow bone. After that, I use um, MAC pencil, what's called Teddy, for people who remember Teddy. This is my, sorry, I'm just throwing stuff. Yeah, it's very lovely. Please tell me if makeup changes your outlook on life. Like you feel you put on uh, a layer of makeup and all of a sudden you feel you're a, a boss girl, if that's what they call it nowadays. Do you feel like you have your life together, you know what you're doing, you, uh, So what I've done is that I I used a pencil brush to lay a layer of um, uh, the dark on here um, and this will blend with the um, pencil um, 
that you laid down and then you take the same darker brush and you just blend with it. Yeah, this is the dark brush. I don't want to mix the brushes. Um, this is just a... Um, uh, Real Techniques brush. Another OG makeup artist. Chapman um, sisters, Nicole and Sam. Uh, I will go to the darker colors here, the black and um, the brown. I'll just get it at the very corner outside, like I will not get it um, all the way inside, it's just at the corner. And with whatever is left on the brush, you see here I just connect it there. And blend, blend, blend. If you don't have a photo shoot, if you don't have something very big going on, you don't have to be precise, if I'm honest with you. Like, no one cares. We care, but no one cares. Just to clean it up. I know that I'm cleaning up with a uh, uh, foundation brush, but that doesn't. Uh, yeah. And do the same on the other eye. So I've done the other eye uh, similarly. I'll take the, the black one, the black liner from MAC as well, Smolder, and I would line both the lower and the upper lash lines. Sorry if I'm looking away, because I'm looking at the mirror. And then Tom Ford liner or any liquid liner um, to get your eyeliner done. I don't know. If, uh, let's see if you can see from this angle. I just point it upward and draw a line and that's it. Then fill in the line. I do not do much. Point up upward, flick and then draw a line. It's very difficult to do this in front of a camera. Sorry. Sorry, I evened out the liners as much as possible. Uh, the thing is that I still don't like my blusher. Um, I cannot really see it clearly. And I do love a blusher. So if you remember our glass um, palettes, I think they released some uh, last December. I didn't get new ones. I have one from them and it lasts forever. So I didn't get any. So I like to put my blusher up um, near my eyes. It gives a flushed. Um, different look, almost like a model's kind of look. Eyebrows and then uh, almost done. So I have thick brows, I'm lucky. I did pluck them a lot when I was a teenager. Not a teenager, like in the university. My mom would not allow us to touch our eyebrows when we were teenagers and it wasn't common anyways at um, that era to touch your eyebrows that early anyways. Now to 
um, the gel, I do uh, use both uh, the pencil and the gel from Benefit. I still like their products. I don't need much of um, control over my eyebrows. They're not bad, honestly. So I just do whatever and I get away with it most of the time. Yeah, so I'll do my lashes. Um, I use eyelash curler from Tarte. A lot of uh, people nowadays do curl their lashes um, chemically in a salon or put eyelash extensions I still don't think I need that maybe I'll change my mind in the future Your uh, mascara application does um, make a difference if you want upward, rounded, um, upward lashes makes your uh, eyes more rounded while if you actually accentuate the corners it'll give you more of um, the foxy eye effect. Um, my mascara is almost uh, dry, so it's fine. I have backup. I do usually use two mascaras, not just one. Um, two different mascaras, I mean, because the first one uh, usually too thicken, and the second one elongates the lashes. And take your time, don't think that um, one coat of mascara is gonna give you the lashes that you dream of. You have to be patient, like everything in life. This is mascara number one. Mascara number two is from NARS. Um, it was gifted to me by my brother, uh, Sweet Ahmed, who went out and got me, I think last birthday, got me a little bit of makeup from NARS and uh, from MAC. So I still use you see that it didn't dry up because I don't use it that often, but I do use it as the second mascara to give me more length. And it is very weird to have this thick mascara to give you length, but it does work for me. Last thing. Lips. I do use this color by Maybelline, it's called More Auburn 288, um, it's from their ultimate line. Uh, I need a mirror, a closer one. It's supposed to be matte, but because I have the... I still had the uh, uh, lip cream, that's why. Um, I like uh, to use either, sorry for my reach, a cotton or my finger to blend the edges.
I did not use a lip liner with this one. And that's it. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me while I'm applying skincare and makeup. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification button to see more videos out of this channel. Have a good day.